Welcome to channel Madam Wong. Today, teacher will teach intersection of sets. What is intersection of sets? The intersection of sets A and B is written using the symbol this. Set A intersect B contains the common elements of both sets A and B. To know further, let us look at the question beside here. The table below shows a group of pupils who prefer to eat fruits. Aini prefers to eat apple. Yui prefers to eat durian. Ruben prefers to eat apple and durian. Afi prefers to eat durian. Lina prefers to eat apple and durian. Based on the above table, write the names of the pupils using set notations. So we represent set A equals pupils who prefer to eat apple. B represent pupils who prefer to eat durian. Intersection of set A and B equals pupils who prefer to eat both apple and durian. Pupils who prefer to eat apple are Heine, Ruben, and Lina. So set A equals Heine, Ruben, and Lina. Set B is Pupils who prefer to eat durian. So, Yui, Ruben, Afi, and also Lina. Set B equals Yui, Ruben, Afi, and Lina. A intersect B means pupils who prefer to eat both apple and durian. So, pupils who prefer to eat both apple and durian are Ruben and Lina. The intersection of set A and set B contains common elements that are Ruben and Lina, who prefer to eat both apple and durian. After we list the element of set A, B, and intersection of set A and B, how to draw Venn diagram to represent set A and set B? Actually, it is very simple. Now we have set A and set B. So we draw two circles. You also can draw other shapes besides circle. Let's say triangle, square is up to you. Label each circle and fill in the elements in Venn diagram. So we label the circle. Here is set A. This circle is for set B. Must remember, fill in the intersection of sets first. So, intersection of the set, element of the intersection of set A and B are Ruben and Lina. So, we fill in first. Ruben, Lina. For set A, beside Ruben, Lina, we have I need also. So, I need at this part. B. U E Afi. So make sure every element with a dot at the front. Example one. It, it is given that the universal set S is an integer S greater or equals one, less or equals ten. Set P S is an odd number. Set Q, S is a prime number. And set R, S is a multiple of 3. List all the elements of the following intersections of sets. Now, before we list all the elements of the following intersections of set, we need to list the element of set P, Q, and R. The element of set P is 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Why I cannot write number 11 in set P? Because here, universal set. 
S is an integer and S greater or equals to 1, less or equals to 10 means that our, the number that we can use in this example 1 only from number 1 to number 10 only. That Q. S is a prime number. As you know, the prime number only can be divided by 1 and itself. Prime number are 2, 3, 5, 7. Set R. S is multiple of 3. So from number 1 to 10, multiple of 3 are 3, 6 and 9. After we list out set P, set Q and R, now we write the intersection of set P and Q. For set P and Q, the common elements are 3, 5 and 7. This is the element you must draw the bracket like this and write down 3, 5 and 7. P intersect R, so common elements P and R, 3 and 9. So our answer here, we write 3, 9. Q intersect R, 3 only. So next, P intersect Q intersect R means we need to find the common elements for set P, Q and R. So from here, we only have number 3. State the number of elements of the following set. Number of element P intersect Q. So how many here? P intersect Q, 1, 2, 3. 3 elements, so we write 3 here. And some of the students like to write like this. This one is wrong answer because you only mention the number of elements. Uh, if you write like this, this is element 3. So it's different answer already. Number of P intersect R, 2. Number of Q intersect R, 1. Number of P intersect Q intersect R here, three, uh, 1 only. Number 2, the Venn diagram shows set J, set K, and set L such that the universal set equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. List all the elements of the following intersections of sets. J intersect K. So, means we find the common area of J and K. So, J is K and K here. So this is common area of J and K. The answer is 3, 5. J intercept L. J is here, L inside J means actually L is subset of J. J L subset of J also means that L actually is one part of J. So inside J, so here. The answer is 5, 7, and 9. C, K intersect L. So K is here, L is here. So common area of set K and set L is here. We write down element 5. C, J intersect K intersect L. Area for the three circles here. This part also right. Okay, the answer is five. If you don't know how to determine the common area, you also can use uh, this method. Okay, we do the J intersect K first. Okay, J this circle, K is this circle, so these two area intersect. After that, intersect L. So these two area, which one is inside L? Only this, right? So this one cancel. So J intersect K intersect L is this area. Example 3. 
it is given that set A equals number on a dice, set B, B equals even numbers on a dice, and set C equals 7 at 9. A. List all the elements of the following intersections of sets. Before you list all the element intersections of sets, you need to list out set A, set B, and set C first. Okay, so A, numbers on a dice, 1 until 6. B, even number on a dice, so B equals 2, 4, 6. C, we just copy from the question here. So now, first one, A intersect B. Elements of A and B, 2, 4, 6. The elements of A intersect B are 2, 4, 6. B intersect C. So we find the common element of B and C. So can find any element from B and C? Cannot write. So we just write as and B set. A intersect C. Also, no common element, so we write it as empty set. So, you know, we have two symbols of empty set, this one and this one. So, you can use either one. Draw a Venn diagram to represent set A, B, and C, and share the region that represents each of the following intersections of sets. Okay, first one is Venn diagram first, before we share the region so now we have set a set b and c so means we need to have three share okay so from a a intersect b b not intersect c and also a not intersect c because empty set and we found that actually all the elements of B are in A. Means that B actually subset of A. B one part of A. Okay, A first. And I label it A. And B is one part of A. So we draw the B inside A and label it. And B and C, A and C not intersect. So C, we draw it along outside here. Okay, next step, we must fill in the common element of A and B first. Two, four, six. Followed by element of A, we have one until six because two, four, six already fill in here. You now need to rewrite again two, four, six outside here. Okay, so you still have number one. 3 and 5 to write it. So 1, 3, 5. E, we have element 7 at 9. So we write down 7 at 9. After we complete the Venn diagram, now we need to share the region that represents A intersect B. A intersect B is here, the common area of A and B. The elements of set B are in set A. So A intersect B equals B. We also have the same diagram. We share the region B intersect C. But B not intersect C, so we cannot, we don't have any common region. Set B and set C do not have common elements. Please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.